In arthroscopic surgery, a pump is often used to assist the surgeon in distending the joint space for better visualization. To properly manage interarticular pressure, the flow of saline must be tightly controlled. Traditional pumps function as inflow-only pumps, and the surgeon must carefully maintain joint pressure by manually controlling outflow to avoid complications during surgery. It is important that the surgeon maintains matching inflow and outflow rate during the procedure to provide consistent distension. With any inflow-only pump, vacuum suction is connected to the shaver handpiece to remove soft tissue and bone from the joint. Since suction is not automatically regulated by the pump, it is very easy to lose visualization due to the joint collapsing and red out. To improve visualization by stopping bleeding, pressure must be increased to re-establish blood vessel hemostasis. If this increase in pressure is maintained too long, extravasation can occur, which puts pressure on surrounding tissues and increases postoperative fluid retention. The Arthrex Dual Wave Arthroscopy Pump functions as both an inflow-only and inflow-outflow pump. When used as an inflow-outflow pump, the dual wave automatically adjusts inflow to match outflow, which allows the optimal overall pressure to be maintained. The dual wave has two suction pathways, one for the working cannula and one for the shaver. Shaver detection enables the suction pathway to be automatically switched with the activation or deactivation of the shaver. To maintain distension during higher suction, a boost of pressure is provided, allowing the surgeon to remove debris from the field of view quickly. Lavage is an important feature of the dual wave that produces timed increase in pressure to control bleeding through tamponade. When bleeding occurs, the surgeon may press the lavage button to increase the pressure by 50% for two minutes. This allows hemostasis to be reestablished and minimizes overall interarticular pressure throughout the entire case. When connecting cannula suction to a working cannula, a low suction is provided to prevent stagnation of the fluid. The rinse function may be used to increase fluid flow through the joint. Using rinse at the beginning of the procedure will help clear the synovial fluid, improving initial joint visualization. Rinse may also be used to clear excess tissue and debris from view. Lastly, drain the joint by simply clamping the inflow and pressing the rinse button.